Hello and welcome to IT Gyan. This is Tapan, and today in this session, we'll learn about introduction to IBM Cloud. So, in general, if we uh, study and any of the IoT use cases, it contains three things. First one is the device, second one is the cloud platform, and third one is the application. Or in all of them, they are connected together by using some of the communication channel. So, communication can be made by any of the technology like Wi-Fi or GPRS and if you are talking about the application layer protocol it may be anything like MQTT or CoAP or any other one. So let's take a look at the IBM Watson IoT architecture. So here you can see here is the IBM Watson IoT platform which is connected to the applications or IoT devices or it may be Watson IoT platform dashboard will see what is it so there is naturally coming a need for an interface layer which can easily understand everything whatever is sent by whether it is an application or whether it is a device data so some conversion facility should be there which must be platform in independent so whenever it is a data sent by an iot devices by using a suitable protocol uh, either mqtt or http so it, it should have an access to the cloud platform. Technologically, nobody can prevent me to connect an IoT device or a node directly to the cloud platform. But there will be few challenges like managing billions and trillions of devices in the IoT platform and providing uh, like a static IP to this device, it will be problematic. So that is the reason we are using the gateway. So the ratio of uh, devices to the gateway it may uh, vary from uh, like 1 to 100 and see 100 devices may be connected to a single way gateway and this single gateway uh, it will be connected to IBM Watson platform so uh, this platform is having the device management logic both for the gateway as well as devices Watson IoT provides a secured communication through MQTT and TLS and which is a lightweighted and faster protocol rather than the restful services. So a device for example if it wants to send its real-time status to the cloud and so it will publish these events to the cloud which is acting as a broker and this may be an application which is interested in this data so it will subscribe to subscribe to this data so the same data will be sent to this application and the role of uh, like uh, subscriber and publisher it may be interchanged depending upon what action we want to perform so in both the cases it will be called as an MQTT client whether it is a device or whether it is an application let's look into the elements of watson iot platform so these are the term you must know first is the organization so whenever you register with the watson iot platform then you have been given with an organization id so your organization id it is a unique six character identifier for your account and what it is doing uh, this organization will ensure that your data is only accessible by your devices and your application so this is about organizations next thing is devices so what is a device it can be anything which is having a connection to the internet and which is capable enough to push the data into the cloud but one thing is there uh, there is no facility in the cloud uh, so that one device can talk to the another device and moreover it is not needed because it can be uh, it can be met at the gateway level itself so uh, there was no need for uh, intercommunication uh, between two devices at the cloud level so a device accepts command from the application and it sends events to the application so this is all about device next thing is the gateway so what is it these are basically uh, devices which are having the combined capability of an application as well as a device see uh, whenever you are using gateway so it can support 50 or hundreds of the nodes so all these nodes will be sending that data to the gateway 
and in turn this gateway will send the same information to the cloud so that the burden of the cloud becomes less because it has to deal with only one device which is called gateway but not with the hundred nodes to which it is connected so gateway uh, it provides as an access point for the other nodes or the, the other devices so devices which cannot directly connect to the internet they can access uh, the watson iot by first connecting to the gateway so this is all about the gateway next thing is application what is it an application is anything that has connection to the internet and it can talk to the devices like uh, it can receive the data from the devices and it can trigger some action on the same devices so for any application it is having a unique application id as well as an api key which is stored in the cloud next thing what is event event means the real time status whenever we are connecting a sensor and we are sending the uh, real time information like humidity temperature or anything so it is sent from the device to the cloud so this is called an event next thing what is a command 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 means whenever we are sending some uh, action to be performed on the devices so this is called command so these are the mechanism by which any application can communicate with the devices and communicating means uh, it want to it it wants to trigger some action on the devices and one worth noting thing is that only application can send commands and the commands are sent to the specific devices only let's look into the architecture of a typical iot platform so in ibm watson platform we have an mqtt broker implemented at the device management module so here it can handle a number of gateways also and it can handle the nodes which are directly connected to the cloud so a similar type of uh, device management logic it is also at the gateway gateway level because a gateway can support 50 to 100 number of nodes but as far as this uh, device management is concerned it is having mqtt broker inbuilt in this so this is the difference next you can see there is an interface layer so interface layer it is capable enough to convert one protocol into another which can be easily understood by this cloud so uh, this interface uh, is having the streaming feature which is by rest over https so for incoming data it is providing a common platform like uh, whether it is the data sent by an application or it may be a data of a device it will be able to understand both of them second one is the actuation process whenever we want to issue a command uh, for a device to take some action it can be also done through this interface layer and last thing is the over the air updates for example if my device it is at a remote location or i cannot have a physical access to it and if i want to update the software so i cannot go there so this facility should be available so that it can be capable enough to update its software on air itself next is the data store so once data comes from the device or an application it must be stored at some of the data store so it is of two types first one is the sql database and second one is the no sql database e example for sql is the oracle and mysql and uh, this is the kind of uh, uh, structured database structured database uh, for example if i am having a uh, let's say 10000 acs so since they are having their unique identity so this can be put into the category of structured database there may be uh, a no sql or non structured database for each ac if i am having two to three parameters let's say temperature or the humidity or any other so th this comes into the category of no sql database which is unstructured database so it may be a key value pair like which is used in redis amazon or simple db or it may be document centric just like mongo db or couch db third thing is the rule syncing when i am having data with me so i can define some rules uh, these rules these are the simple rules just like greater than less than or equal to so that the temperature value if it reaches to up to this level i can send some 
एस एम एस और ई मेल और सम नोटिफिकेशन टू दूसर एंड द लास्ट थिंग इज द एनालिटिक्स एंड रिपोर्ट इंजिन सी आई है नॉट ओनली द जी बी बट टेरा बाइट ऑफ डेटा विथ बी सो राइट नाउ वट इज माई ड्यूटी आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू जनरेट सम बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस फ्रॉम दिस डेटा सो दैट इज डन थ्रू द एनालिटिक्स सो अ बेसिक एनालिटिक्स इट इज बिल्ट इन this iot so that uh, it can understand the meaning of this data and second thing is the visualization i can see this data in the web ui or if uh, if i have wired up uh, any mobile application with my cloud i can see uh, the same data in one of the mobile app let's list out the main features of ibm watson platform first one is the connect so it improves the secure connectivity of the devices and the gateway by using the mqtt or http protocol next one is the information management so what does it do it is store normalize transform and review the device data whatever data is coming from my device so i want to use it to see it in the ui web ui or some application or i want other apps to use this data so all this thing is taken care by information management third part is the analytics so in analytics predictive analysis is there machine learning cognitive real time and edge analytics also there why edge analytics because i want to bring the intelligence to the gateway level and up to the edge device level so that if there is any network disruption and the device is not able to send its data to the cloud so we are not supposed to wait for the cloud to respond and send me back the some trigger action so that is why edge analytics it is done last one is the risk management so what does it do it configures secure connectivity and the architecture with the access control for the users and application so uh, nowadays uh, the main uh, focus of every application is that how secure it is so so that a man in the middle attack cannot be done or like uh, since this is having hardware devices so reverse engineering and uh, lots of things can be done so uh, here in the risk management we are taking care of all the factors by which my security can be affected so this is all about it